so this is the simple assembly i have here so i'm going to show you how we can create automatic explosion as well as manual explosion in this assembly okay so here you can see there is an explosion command so if you are not able to find explosion command over here you need, just need to go to menu and assemblies and explosions okay so this is the same explosion suppose if you want to put it into this toolbar so you can just right click here and go to customize and here just type explosion and you just need to drag it and drop it over here so now uh, we'll just go to explosions and now you can see it is not having any explosion whatever the assembly that we have opened it is not having any explosions so now we'll just go to create new explosion okay so once you click on it you can see this is the explosion window and since i'm showing it automatic as a first explosion what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all the components here and i'll just go to automatic explosion and here you can see auto explode selected so once you click on this it will take some time to explode and now we can see all the components are exploded so suppose if you want to give any name for this say for example i'll just give auto okay so and i'll just click apply so now you notice that there is a component here and there is a component here they are just overlapping each other so it is not exploded this component so this is the disadvantage of automatic explosion so it is not going to understand sometimes and it is not going to explode all the components properly so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a one more explosion that is manual method so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to new explosion again here and now you can see all the components are over here so now so instead of base i'm going to expand other components so for this what we are going to do is i'm going to select all the components here and i will hit shift and then base so now the base is deselected from our list and only 10 components are selected so now i'll just go to manual explosion and then we have a specify orientation here so i'm going to move this up okay maybe you can see the distance here so suppose if you want to keep it as 50 mm you can just keep it 50 mm and you can just apply so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand these components outside okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just select a components i'm going to select these components and let me go to orientation here and pull this outside and click apply now again i'm going to select this and i'll just pull this outside and i'll just click apply and now I'm going to select these three and I'm going to explode until this. Okay. So whatever these bolts are there, I'm going to bring them in the top direction. Okay. You can just click. Okay. So once this is done, you can see here, here the explosion one is the one which is manually we have created. Suppose if you want to change the name of this explosion, just right click here and go to rename and type it as manual. Okay. So and there are multiple options here active. So all these options are same as when you do right click here. So if you do right click, you can see copy, rename, edit, create, trace lines and hide, delete explosions. So these are the same uh, commands, whatever we have here in the right click as well. Suppose if you want to hide this, so just select this and hide the explosion. And if you want to show, just show it here. One more very important thing here is uh, we need to create the trace lines for the exploded wheels. So in order to create the trace lines, you just need to select the explosion and go to create trace line here. And we need to select the point. So this is my start point and this is going to be my end point. So here you can see it is in the upward direction. So we'll just make it a reverse direction. And this trace line, you can just move upward or backward. You can control it by, you know, dragging. And I'll just click OK. 
and similarly i am going to do it for this one i am going to reverse this so these are the two trace lines i have created suppose if you want to create everywhere so you can just go on creating that so now let us discuss on how we can bring this explosion whatever we have created into a drawing workbench so whenever you create an explosion it is very important for us to uh, bring this into a drafting workbench and show all the components and all the quantities everything in the drawing workbench so let us start with the so now what i'll do is i'll just go to a part navigator here so inside the part navigator you can able to see the model views so now you can see isometric view is the active workbench so here what i'm going to do is i'll just click a add view and inside this i'm going to make a rename for this and this i'm going to give it as a exploded okay and now i'm going to make this as an exploded view as an active workbench and i'm going to save this so now whatever the explosion that i have done it is being saved in exploded view suppose if you want to verify that you can just go to explosions and you can see here manual explosion whatever we have done it is saved in the views called exploded view and then isometric view so now we'll close this and now we'll just move on to drafting workbench by hitting control shift d so now we are <clears throat> so now we are into a drafting workbench so we'll just go to base view and the part is already selected so we'll just go to model view and here we are going to select exploded so once you select it and you can just click ok here so we are going to see the exploded view suppose if you want to you can see here it is right side it is exploded suppose if you want to show it in a different view so how we are going to do that so we'll just go to modeling workbench again so this is a modeling workbench so now what i'm going to do is i'm i want the I want the view to be shown like this in order to do this what we are going to do is i'll just go to here and i'll just make a create a new view so this is my new view explored one and i'll just rename it as a reverse and once it is done you can just save it so now we'll just go to Control shift d to the drawing and again here just go to base view and in the model views just select a reverse so you can just place it over here so this is the easiest way we can able to bring any of the view either it may be exploded view or different kind of a view into a drafting workbench so this is the way how we can able to create explosion automatic explosion and manual explosion and this is how we can able to bring the model into a drafting workbench so if you have any doubts, please comment in the section below. I'll try to answer them. Thank you.